Okay, let me talk about uh, the drift that I know. So from the general solution of uh, guiding center drifts, we got this general, uh, general formula, the C, C over Q, F cross B over E squared. We're gonna use that for the most of these cases. Uh, first and foremost, the E cross B drift, it will be electric field. The force will be Q dot E, uh, Q dot E. Then the applying, applied to the general, uh, general formula, we will have V cross B equals to C, E cross B over D squared. And then we look at the curvature drift. If a magnetic field is curved, the, the particle, aside from the gyro motion, which is, re, is in red, it will, it will fall in the magnetic field line. So basically, the guiding center will align with the magnetic field line as the adiabatic response. So RC is the curvature of, uh, of the curve. So the bigger the RC is, the less, the more s slow changing it is. The smaller it is, the, 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 the circle becomes smaller, obviously. Um, the centri uh, centrifugal force can be written in this, in this form, as you know from the, from the classical mechanics courses. And you plug this into the general, general form of ended up having this equation, the, the uh, curvature group, Vc, Mc, v we see equals to m, mc v final square over q r c square, r c cross b over b square. And then we have a gravity B drift. Gravity B drift is due to the mirror force. If we have a inhomogeneous magnetic field, then they will, if, if the particle go along this way, then they will, in a way, sense of, sense of, have, have, have a, in a way, a lenses law sense. So if we go further, it will, it will induce, induce a magnetic field on the opposite way, so it will, it will, it will resist the change, which you learn in, in, the, in the first or second you know, ENM courses. Uh, so apply this force to the general, general formula. Of course, I will talk about this in the, in, in the first adiabatic invariant and, uh, and the magnetic mirror. Detail. Um, so V uh, V grab B C M uh, equals to C F V parallel square over two Q V B cross del V uh, sorry grab B over B square. For those two, you can actually combine those two those those two drifts into a more general uh, into a general form by with using this using this uh, specific um, approximation, you pretty much assume that the change, that the variation of the magnetic field is, is, uh, is in the order of, uh, of the curvature, which is true for some, for some cases, but you need, to, you need to see if it's true for all the cases. So this, those two add together will become Q, uh, sorry, M over Q, V parallel squared plus one, uh, half V perpendicular square RC cross B over RC square B square. And then we got into the pol uh, polarization drift. So polarization drift, I can, uh, what I can think of is basically the E cross B drift. You can think of this as like a second law of Newtonian mechanics. It just changed, the E cross B changing by changing over time. And we assume the B is time independent, so the only E is changing over, uh, changing based on time. And then we have this. I'll plug it into this formula. We will have we will have a polarization polarization drift. Uh, VB equals to MC over QB squared, DE over DT. That's a polarization drift. And then, last but not least, you will use up quite a lot, at least in the in uh, in talking about scenarios, uh, diamagnetic di drift, uh, VD, C, di uh, dial P cross B, Q B, Q, uh, over Q and B squared. So the force is pretty much the, the pressure gradient. As you can see, if there's there's more pressure than than here, then you, 
the hero fuel force there. So that's a that's a pressure gradient. So since since this is a this is not a single particle motion, all of that are the guiding center drift. This drift is not a not a, not a not due to single particle but a cluster, but a but a but a collection effect in a way. So we plug, uh, plug this into, into that. That will, that will also work for this. We'll have Vd equals to C, they'll, uh, they'll, uh, they'll P cross B over Q, Qn, P squared. So that's the drift that we can think of. This is, a, this is a, in green, it's a force. We can apply to this general formula and apply to the drift. And this is the, this is an illustration, in a way, a graphical illustration of how it works. Thank you.